Hi beauties, welcome to my channel, HI Beauty by Yulia. I'm Yulia and I'm your virtual beauty therapist. I have been one for the past 10 years, so I created this channel in order to keep you stay healthy and informed about beauty. If this is something that you find interesting, please do check out the rest of my videos. Consider subscribing to the channel. You can also find me in Instagram where I post a lot of different content. With the topic for today, you can see all those products. So this is... Um, all products that I got from YesStyle. These are some of their Korean bestsellers and I wanted to do a video about them so that you have some idea what is trendy and what's not and I will give you my honest opinion. I have not paid for any of the products uh, that were sent to me in exchange of my honest opinion and this review. Now, if you want to purchase them, I will add in the description box links to wear them. YesStyle is a great website that you can purchase a lot of things. There's a lot of information and it's not only about beauty, but also about clothing as well, about shoes, about makeup. So really, you can find a lot of different things. They also have an app that you can download for more interesting content. You can find them as well in Instagram. And if you want to support me and my channel, you can use my reference code, which is SayYes44. This is the first product that I will talk about today. This is obviously the box. It is very rich. You don't need a lot. So this is 100 milliliters of product and this will take for quite a while. Um, now my skin is dry. So my personal preference is to use cleansers which are not foamy. This is my choice because I have seen that my skin gets a bit irritated. So for me personally, this is a bit too much. If your skin is combination or oily, you will very likely very much enjoy this product. So what I mean is that although they do say it is also for sensitive and for dry skin, my personal opinion is that this is a bit more for oily and combination type of skin. Now what I don't like about this product is that it has added perfume. Um, they highlight also that it has um, mint extracts, which is a bit cooling, uh, giving cooling sensation to the product. But it's not listed in the inky list, so I suppose it is part of the perfume. There's also a bit of alcohol, the nuts, in this product, which is also an ingredient that I personally find a little bit too drying. So for me, this product is a bit so-so um, because of those two ingredients. This is without any water and you can see that it already started to create some foam. I added a bit of water. This is Comfort Me, a soothing spray. I have to say, this mist is one of my favorite, if not my current favorite mist. Make Prem are very specific with the sourcing of their ingredients, so it can't be just, I don't know, a tomato extract or something like this. It will be a specific type of tomato that is growing there and there. So they are using mainly natural type of ingredients, but they are very transparent about the sourcing of their ingredients and why they decided that this is the best one. So you will find something like uh, sodium hyaluronate here, butylene glycol, uh, glycerin as well, which are very lovely and hydrating. But also you will find something like cypress, you will find panthenol as well here, which are very soothing. Uh, the reason why you have this lovely green color is because it has neem oil. Uh, there's also jojoba oil, which is the second ingredient in the inky list, and there's avocado as well. So as a point of view of ingredients, it's packed with a lot of really lovely, hydrating, soothing type of ingredients. I like to use it in the middle of the day, so if I feel like my skin is getting a bit too dry because it's cold, because of the heating on, you just shake, shake, shake very vigorously, and then you spray. You will see, I spray even over makeup. The third product that I wanted to show you is a serum. It's this one. The brand is called Milk Touch 
and it was created in 2019 from a Korean influencer. They have skincare, they have makeup and they have different kinds of beauty accessories as well. You have Rose, Cherry Blossom, Water Lily, Camellia and Lotus. So they are all with the idea to brighten and soothe the skin. There is also five different types of hyaluronic acid to address the hydration of the skin. And you have also niacinamide and uh, vitamin C as well, which are also brightening. With this one they did clinical tests and you can see uh, like a pigmentation relief um, images also in YesStyle if you check out the gallery. So you can see before and after picture of a person how their skin looked like. So the idea of this serum is also to reduce the melanin production of, into the skin, therefore to reduce the uneven skin tone. So you can treat something like melasma but you can treat also simply uneven skin tone if you want something brightening if you have freckles or anything like this I have con my concerns because of the flower extracts I don't know if there's any essential oil inside because in the inky list is listed simply as um, for instance rose extract however I have to say I had absolutely no irritation from this product and I was very nicely surprised I have seen with my skin a bit of plumpness and a little bit more brighter look if you want to so I think that this will be great however I have to say that whether with this or any other product especially when we're looking for pigmentation you have to use it for at least like a month to see some kind of a very good results so if you use this for three days and it doesn't you know remove your pigmentation you have to be aware that whether with this or another product you have to be consistent in your skincare and use SPF It gives a little bit of glow. You can use it over the face, you can use it dry areas like elbows if you want to. You can use it also as a lip balm. What you have here is salmon collagen, you have salmon DNA and also you have ingredient which is called salmon PDRN which is material extracted from the sperm of salmon. <laughs> And it might look very weird, but you know what, you might not think about it, but you use a lot of weird things on your face, especially if you don't check uh, the sourcing, because things like collagen are very often um, actually extracted not just from plants or uh, seaweed or fish in our case, but also very often for something like bovine, so you might have something like... Um, material which was extracted from uh, cow bones and skin in your collagen products, even supplements that you're drinking. So the fact that they are highlighting that it has um, salmon uh, sourced ingredients doesn't mean that it's bad at all. <laughs> Obviously if you're vegan this is not a product that I will suggest for you. But if this is something that doesn't bother you, you want to try something very trendy, you want to try something that a lot of people are talking about. This is the amount that I have used and I've used it for um, about a week. This is the full size. I mean probably it will take about a month. It depends how much you will use it but this is the full size of the product if this makes sense. There's perfume inside and a few different allergens or perfuming also ingredients that you will see here. So I'm, I personally am not a fan of those one. Also I think it is quite pricey for this amount of product. Um, it makes sense. Uh, obviously this is not cheap ingredients that you will find inside. But for me it wasn't mind-blowing as type of results. It is a good balm but it's quite a pricey balm in my opinion. This is it, a bit brightening kit. And this is everything inside. It doesn't smell like sweet lemony. It smells almost sour and bitter and I have said it before, I have sweet spot for this uh, kind of scent, so...
it penetrates very quickly within the skin so I do think that even if you have oily skin this will be just fine it's not something too heavy it feels very comfortable on the skin and it has a very great absorption as ingredient actually here the yuja is in total of around 80% of the content of this serum so very very big amount of this product will be your citrusy type of ingredient now you will find also here in niacinamide you will find hydrating ingredients as well so it's not something that will work just to brighten your skin sugarcane is rich on alpha hydroxy acids which are exfoliating but also are humectants and that's why it will be able to give you this very gentle exfoliation to the skin which i i definitely very much enjoy To be honest with you, this is the first sun stick that I have tried and I will show you how it looks on my skin. So, okay, you can see I think a little bit of white cast. I put some on my hair, <laughs> great, <laughs> but you can tap it in. And yeah, I'll come a little bit closer, but yeah, this is how it looks like afterwards. Now this one contains a few different types of chemical sunblock filters, which might be irritating for some. For me, there is nothing irritating into this product. And also, I do appreciate the fact that they added also titanium dioxide, which is a physical filter. Now, you get also a uh, gua sha um, in the kit, which uh, otherwise you can't really get. And it's a very big one. <laughs> I, very, I liked it. Um, it is plastic. It's not uh, made from glass or anything, which means that it's not so easy to be broken. And it's quite light as well so it's good uh, big size with the mask it is um, sp very specific because the sheet is a mixture of um, actually material which is made from egg whites and bamboo um, and this is ensuring the good penetration of the product I have to say that um, it is a little bit small in my opinion because there is quite a bit of um, area over here that this is not covering. However, because there is enough of essence and you can actually see how much there is, once when you apply your mask it's quite easy to take everything else and make sure that you apply it over the areas which are not covered like this area over here like over my neck, uh, my decolletage I like to use a bit of um, mask over my hands as well if there's anything left if you think about it your uh, skin is actually slightly acidic so the idea uh, of the brand is to uh, create a product which is uh, as close as possible to your natural uh, skin pH. If you're concerned about any kind of irritation, my suggestion is after say half an hour or even an hour to wash it off because my mistake was that I did not wash it off for a few hours and then I used something that was too stripping off to drying my skin and that's why I had once this type of a bit more negative reaction. However, if I use it as I would usually do and remove it with oil then it's absolutely fine so these were all the products that we talk about today thank you very much Yesta for sending them to me so that I can try them test them review them for my viewers I hope you enjoyed this video if you did so please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel find me on Instagram as well for more beauty content thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week bye bye Thank you.